Welcome back to another quick guide. Today I'll teach you how to stop getting blue screen PS5. If you're experiencing blue screen errors on your PS5, it could be due to a variety of issues such as software bugs, hardware problems, or connection issues. Here are some steps you can take to troubleshoot and potentially resolve the problem. First method, update system software. Go to the settings, system, system software, system software update and settings, update system software, check for and install any available updates. Enter your HDMI cable and TV, support the resolution and refresh rate settings configured on your PS5. Another method, adjust video output settings. Save mode adjustments. Turn off your PS5 completely. Press and hold the power button until you hear a second beep to boot into save mode. Connect your controller with a USB cable and press the PS button. Tap on change video output and just follow the prompt to change its resolution and choose a lower resolution to see if this resolves the issue. Another method, rebuild database. Rebuild database in safe mode. To do this, put into safe mode as described above. Select rebuild database. This process can take some time, but may fix corrupted data that could be causing the blue screen errors. Next method, check for overheating. Enter proper ventilation, then make sure your PS5 is well ventilated and not placed in a enclosed space. Clean any dust from the vents and fans using compressed air. Next method, check for faulty hardware. Inspect for hardware issues. Disconnect any external devices or accessories to see if the issue persists. If the problem occurs with a specific game or application, try to reinstalling it. Another method, factory data reset. Back up your data. Before performing a factory reset, back up your data to an external drive or the cloud. Now, to perform factory reset, go to the settings, system, system software, reset options, reset your console, then choose reset your console and just follow the prompts. This will erase all data and restore the console to factory settings. And that's all for now folks, thanks for watching.